Hello viewers, in this session we will uh, learn about uh, the topological properties of the complex uh, plane. So, uh, by this um, uh, what I mean is that we have seen how uh, uh, what complex numbers are. Okay. So, these topological properties uh, tell you how roughly speaking these complex numbers are knit together uh, to produce uh, a sort of continuum. So, uh, uh, let us first look at uh, some important uh, subsets of uh, complex numbers. Okay. So, uh, I will list some important subsets. So, here is uh, B A R, okay, which stands for the set of all complex numbers such that uh, the absolute value of z minus a is uh, strictly less than r. Okay. So, b there stands for uh, the ball of radius r. Okay. So, read this as uh, a ball of radius r uh, centered at a. Okay. So, the geometric intuition behind uh, this wording is that uh, the absolute value we know that the absolute value or the modulus of a complex number uh, gives you the distance between uh, 0 and uh, the number uh, z. Okay, uh, in the complex plane. We have seen this interpretation uh, when we uh, studied the modulus of a complex number. Okay. So, uh, for example, if I take the number 3 plus i, 3 plus i. Okay. So, it is represented by the point 3 comma 1 on the complex plane and uh, the distance from the origin of that point, the Euclidean distance of uh, that point from the origin is uh, square root of 10, okay, which essentially uh, is the modulus of the complex number 3 plus i. Okay. So, uh, the modulus of the complex number uh, z 1 minus z 2 uh, in this way denotes the distance between uh, complex numbers z 1 and z 2 in the complex plane. So, algebraically uh, the modulus of z 1 and z 1 minus z 2 looks like square root of x 1 minus x 2 whole square plus uh, y 1 minus y 2 whole square, uh, where z 1 is x 1 plus i y 1 and z 2 is x 2 plus i y 2. So, uh, it, uh, it indeed uh, indicates uh, the distance between points x 1 comma y 1 and x 2 comma y 2. Okay. So, uh, in this uh, set example or in this uh, set that I was talking about B A R uh, is basically the set of all uh, complex numbers which are at most r away from the point A. Okay. So, this condition here absolute z minus a or rather modulus z minus a is strictly less than r uh, uh, indicates that the complex number z is at most uh, a distance r away from the complex number a. Okay. So, uh, hence uh, pictorially b a r looks like the following. So, suppose this is your a 
complex number A okay, and uh, R is some distance okay, some positive number okay, then uh, it is the set of all numbers which are at most uh, R away from this complex number A. So, uh, the shaded region um, is the required region. So, this is B of A R. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in particular, uh, okay, so here is an example uh, B of I, uh, comma 1, okay, is the set of all complex numbers such that the uh, modulus of z minus i is strictly less than 1. Okay. So, on the complex plane we can picture this. So, here is uh, your i complex number i okay. and uh, let us say this is well the origin is at a distance 1. Okay. So, a circle of uh, we will draw a circle of radius 1 okay, and so uh, the shaded region uh, is the required region. Okay, this is your B i 1. Okay. Uh, here we define the deleted neighborhood uh, of a point in the complex plane the uh, deleted neighborhood of a point A in the complex plane is the set of all uh, complex numbers such that uh, 0 is strictly less than the modulus of z minus A is strictly less than uh, R for some positive real number r. Okay. Uh, this is uh, denoted by p prime a r. Uh, so, pictorially what we are doing is we are considering uh, an r ball around uh, the complex number A, it is an open ball okay, and we remove the point A itself. Okay. So, uh, what we have is uh, a deleted neighborhood B prime A r. Okay. So, um, there is another uh, important subset of this kind that we will study. Okay. So, it is indicated by B A r with a bar over it okay, to indicate uh, the set of all complex numbers, which are uh, at a distance less than or equal to r away from the complex number A. Okay. And uh, this is sometimes called the closed ball of radius r. around A. Okay. So, we will uh, shortly see uh, this uh, word closed formally uh, in a few moments okay. and uh, uh, notice the difference between B A R and B A R bar. Uh, we have now included points which are uh, at a distance r away from A as well. Okay. So, uh, so, the set difference between B A R and B A R bar okay, uh, is the set of all uh, complex numbers, which are exactly r away from uh, A, which is essentially a circle of radius r around A. Okay. Uh, next, uh, so, a, a comment here. Um, 
this ball uh, around uh, the complex number a can be defined for any complex number and uh, for any uh, positive uh, radius r. Uh, next, we will see uh, the upper half plane. Okay. This is yet another important example of subsets of the complex plane. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, the set pi, okay, uh, it is denoted by pi. This is the set of all complex numbers such that uh, the imaginary part of z is strictly greater than zero. Okay, so uh, on the complex plane, the picture is as follows. Uh, this set is all such points whose imaginary uh, part is strictly greater than 0. So, uh, this is not including the real line. Okay. So, this is uh, pi, this is the picture of pi. Okay. This is yet another subset of C uh, that we will uh, keep in mind. Okay. And, uh, we will often talk about the annulus. Okay. Uh, okay. So, an annulus is a set of the following kind, uh, it is a set of the kind uh, set of all z belongs to complex numbers such that uh, R 1 strictly less than z minus a is strictly less than r 2. Okay. So, uh, this essentially is the set of all points uh, centered at uh, or rather it is the set of all points, which are uh, at least a distance r 1 away and at most a distance r 2 away uh, from a certain point, a certain fixed point A. Okay. So, here is a picture of it. Okay. So, if you take uh, a point A okay, and uh, fix a certain distance r 1, okay, uh, this is your r 1 okay, and fix another distance r 2 and draw a circle of uh, radius r 2 centered at a. Okay. Then uh, your, your set here, the set here is essentially uh, the shaded region. Okay. And uh, such a region is called an annulus. Okay. So, there are three parameters for an annulus the center of the annulus, the inner radius and the outer radius. Okay. Uh, in a more generalized sense, uh, we will allow these circles uh, to have um, different centers uh, sometimes. Okay. So, uh, a region of this shape will also be called an annulus sometimes. Okay, so, here the center of the outer circle and that of the inner circle are different. Okay. So, the enclosed region is uh, a generalized annulus. Okay. So, uh, these are uh, some of the names of uh, sets, uh, kinds of sets uh, that uh, the viewer should be uh, aware of. Okay. Uh, so, now uh, we will uh, talk about uh, the topology of uh, the complex plane. These properties uh, are uh, very essential uh, and have uh, direct impact uh, on the analysis of complex numbers. Okay. So, uh, the viewer who is uh, familiar uh, with uh, real analysis uh, will recall the importance of 
uh, the open intervals in uh, studying calculus uh, of functions of one one real variable. Uh, so, uh, likewise uh, the so called open sets which we are going to define in a moment uh, play an equivalent role in complex analysis. Okay. So, uh, essentially uh, an open set is a set where uh, around each point in the set there is some uh, room to maneuver. So, uh, one can sit at that point in the set at, at a fixed point in the set and then uh, uh, see that he, uh, uh, he or she is surrounded uh, by uh, some points uh, completely lying in the set. Okay. So, in a more uh, concrete sense um, an open set uh, is as follows. Okay. So, um, a set A contained in C is open okay, uh, if uh, given uh, z belongs to A, uh, there uh, is an R positive okay, uh, depending on possibly uh, depending on z such that a ball of a uh, radius r centered at z is completely contained in the set a okay so uh, this uh, is concretely what is an open set in the complex plane okay so example well our first example is that uh, B A R is itself an open set, is an open set. Okay. So, uh, so why is B A R open? Okay. So, let us see uh, why this set is open. Let, uh, let z belong to uh, B A R. Okay. Recall this is uh, the set of all complex numbers which are uh, at most r away from uh, from the point A, from the complex number A. Okay. So uh, if we pick a z uh, belongs to uh, such a set, then uh, we know that the absolute value of uh, z minus A is strictly less than r. So, that uh, so, uh, 0 is strictly less than r minus absolute z minus a. Okay. So, since r minus uh, the uh, modulus of z minus a is strictly positive, we can uh, pick a number between uh, this number and 0. Okay. So, let uh, delta be such that 0 less than delta less than r minus the modulus of z minus a. Okay. Uh, and so, what we are doing is the following here is your complex number a. Okay, and here is uh, the number r okay, and here is the circle of radius r around a. Okay. So, if you pick any z which is at most r away from a, okay, then the point is that you can, you can now choose uh, on the line joining a and z, okay, there is still some distance uh, to the uh, uh, to the circle of radius r around a okay so you can choose some uh, positive distance which is slightly shy of the circle okay so here is this little piece is your delta and here is 
a small uh, uh, circular piece or a, a disc uh, which is uh, of radius delta around uh, the point z which is completely lying in B A R. Okay. So, this is a pictorial view and I am going to uh, demonstrate that uh, analytically. Okay. So, choose a delta such that uh, delta lies between uh, 0 and r minus absolute value or, or rather modulus of z minus a okay. and then, uh, uh, then if uh, a number w belongs to b z delta. Okay. So, this is a, a, a ball of a radius delta around the point z, okay. then uh, the modulus of w minus z uh, is going to be strictly less than uh, delta okay, by the definition of the ball. Okay. And then this will imply that uh, w minus uh, z plus uh, z minus or rather uh, w minus a okay, uh, is equal to uh, w minus z plus z minus a okay, uh, is less than or equal to uh, w minus z plus the modulus of w minus z plus the modulus of z minus a by uh, the triangle inequality okay, uh, which in turn is less than or equal to uh, delta plus uh, the modulus of z minus a okay, uh, which now is strictly less than r okay, because uh, delta was chosen to be between uh, r minus the modulus of z minus a and 0. Okay. So, um, okay, so, this portion that uh, the modulus of w minus z is less than delta is coming from uh, the fact that w belongs to the uh, ball of radius delta centered at z okay, and uh, then uh, this inequality here follows from uh, uh, this fact the choice of delta. Okay. So, that sh shows that uh, the modulus of w minus a is strictly less than r. Uh, so, uh, such a w belongs to your um, b a r. Okay. So, an arbitrary uh, w in b z delta ball of radius delta around z is contain is uh, contained in or is an element of uh, the ball of radius r around a okay so this implies that um, uh, implies that b z delta is completely contained in b a r okay that shows that shows that uh, since z is arbitrary z was arbitrary point of uh, B A R okay. uh, B A R is an open set. Right? If you choose uh, any z belonging to B A R, then you can uh, come up with a, a, a delta such that B z delta is contained in B A R. Okay. So, and that sticks to the definition of an open set okay. that confirms to the definition and so uh, such sets are open sets. Okay. And uh, next uh, we want to um, see how to uh, produce open sets. Okay. So, uh, here is uh, a list of uh, ways to produce uh, open sets okay. generating open sets. One, uh, the empty set is open. Okay. Uh, that is because uh, the condition for openness is trivially true. There is no element to check 
the condition upon ok. So, uh, the empty set is uh, trivially open ok and then uh, the entire complex plane is open ok. The entire is an open set ok. So, in the first point I mean an open set is an open set ok and the entire complex plane is an open set ok. Uh, that is because of course, if you pick any point in the complex plane you can uh, find a large enough disk around that point in the complex plane ok. So, that is easy. So, the entire complex plane itself is open ok. And uh, the third uh, way to generate open sets is as follows, um, if S 1 is an open set ok, S 1 comma S 2 are open sets ok. Then S 1 intersection S 2 is also an open set. So, why is this true? Well, if, um, if you take a point uh, in the intersection or if you take a complex number which is in the intersection of two open sets S 1 and S 2, uh, then uh, there is a ball of radius, uh, ball of radius uh, r around that point which is contained in uh, which is contained in the intersection, where r here is the minimum of uh, the radius or radii of the balls uh, which are present in S 1 and S 2 ok. So, what I mean by that is as follows. So, here is uh, an open set ok, roughly speaking here is an open set ok and then uh, here is uh, let us say another open set ok. So, here I am giving a picture. Uh, proof of this uh, fact. So, if you pick a, a, a z in here ok, then you can choose uh, a ball of large enough radius ok, uh, which lies uh, in the intersection ok. So, uh, the radius of this ball can be chosen. So, that uh, it is the minimum of the red radius red eyes of uh, the balls uh, around z in the set s 1 ok uh, and uh, the uh, and the ball in s 2 around z ok. So, uh, so a proof of this fact ok is uh, left to the reader ok uh, or to the viewer rather. So, um, uh, so proof. of 3 is a good exercise is an exercise ok. And uh, likewise uh, if, if uh, you have an arbitrary collection of open sets then their union is also open ok. So, if S alpha such that alpha belongs to some index set A ok, A is some index set ok, is an arbitrary collection of open sets in the complex plane. then the union of these S alphas, alpha belonging to A ok is an open set ok. So, uh, now the index set uh, need not be a finite set or even countable ok. So, you can take uh, an arbitrary collection of open sets and its union uh, will be uh, an open set ok. So, I will present a proof of this fact ok. So, suppose that uh, uh, z is a complex number which is uh, in such a union 
Okay. Then what I have to exhibit is that there is uh, a number r, a positive a real number r such that a, a ball of radius r around z is contained in this arbitrary union. Okay. So, since uh, z is in the union, uh, then z belongs to uh, S alpha for some alpha belongs to A. After all, uh, this, uh, this totality is the union of such S alphas. So, if z is an element in there, then it should have come from uh, some set uh, S alpha. Okay. So, uh, so uh, since S alpha is an open set, uh, there is an R positive okay, such that uh, B Z R is contained in uh, S alpha that is by the definition of an open set. Okay. So, um, and then this S alpha of course, is contained in the union of these S alphas. Okay. So, uh, since z is an arbitrary uh, complex number which is in the union and we have shown that uh, uh, b z r for such a choice of r is contained in the union. Uh, so, we declare that this union is an open set. Okay. So, uh, that is an easy proof okay. and uh, next uh, what we want to uh, see is uh, more open sets. Okay. So, due to these properties 1, 2, 3, 4 or these ways of generating open sets. Okay. So, if you take uh, So, uh, here is another example of an open set. So, uh, similar uh, to the argument made uh, to show that um, B A R the um, ball of radius R around uh, A is open, uh, we can uh, argue to show that uh, the following set, set of all complex numbers such that uh, the modulus of z minus A strictly greater than R is also an open set. Okay. So, essentially uh, these are points which are uh, strictly greater than r away from uh, A. Okay. So, uh, you can uh, once again apply triangle inequality uh, to produce uh, a delta ball around any point in the set uh, uh, to stay away uh, um, from A. Uh, at least uh, r away from a. Okay. So, uh, I will let the viewer uh, complete uh, this exercise once again, uh, this uh, the proof of this example is an exercise. Okay. Uh, so, using uh, this uh, example and the earlier example, uh, I want to uh, say that the following is also an example of an open set. So, uh, when you consider the set of all complex numbers which are uh, r 1 away which are greater than uh, r 1 away uh, from uh, a, a complex number a okay, uh, and then intersect it with the set of all uh, complex numbers uh, such that uh, the modulus of z minus a is strictly less than r 2 where r 1 is some chosen number strictly less than r 2, then uh, what you get is the following. So, uh, here is A okay, and the first set is the set of all numbers which are outside of a circle of radius r 1. Okay. That is your first set here. 
okay. and the second set here is the set of all points which are at most distance r 2 notice r 1 is less than r 2. Okay. So, these are points which are uh, at most distance r 2 away from a. Okay. So, let me use vertical lines. Okay. So, the intersection of these two sets at least pictorially okay, is an annulus. and uh, this can be written as set of all complex numbers uh, which uh, have uh, a modulus like that between r 1 and r 2. Okay. So, an annulus uh, is essentially uh, of this kind is essentially an open set okay, is an open set. Why is this an open set? Well, uh, it is an intersection of two open sets and that is a way to generate open sets. Okay. So, uh, this is an open set. Next, uh, we can also produce, uh, uh, well, uh, I want to say that uh, the upper half plane okay, set of all complex numbers such that the imaginary part of z strictly greater than 0 okay, uh, is uh, an open set. Okay. So, once again uh, the argument uh, to prove that this is an open set is fairly easy and the uh, viewer is encouraged to uh, look, uh, uh, look at how to prove such a fact. Essentially, the idea is that the imaginary part of points in this set are uh, strictly greater than 0. So, if you pick any point uh, which is in this set, then uh, you can find points around it whose imaginary part is still strictly greater than 0. Okay. So, uh, so the, the proof of this example is also a good exercise. So, uh, next I want to give uh, examples of uh, sets which are not open. Okay. So, um, we have seen a closed disk of closed ball of radius r uh, around a complex number a. So, this is the set and uh, I claim that this is not an open set. Okay. So, uh, because if, if z belongs to B A R bar is such that uh, absolute or uh, the modulus of z minus a is equal to r, okay, uh, then there is no B Z delta contained in. Okay. Okay. So, I want to say that there is no uh, delta positive such that B Z delta is contained in B A R bar. Okay. That is because uh, if you consider any point uh, which is uh, exactly r away from uh, the point A. Okay. Then, uh, now if you draw any uh, disk of radius delta around it, any ball of radius delta around it, okay, uh, there are points which are outside lying outside uh, this uh, ball B A R, because uh, there are always points which are uh, uh, at a distance slightly greater than R uh, in that B Z delta for any choice of uh, positive delta. Okay. So, uh, this set uh, is not an open set, this set B A R bar is not an open set. Okay. So, uh, next uh, I want to define uh, what is called as a closed set. Okay. So, before we move on, uh, I want to remark once again that these open sets uh, essentially give you 
uh, room to maneuver right and the definition says that there is a uh, certain positive distance along uh, around each point in the set so that you can uh, you can uh, move around uh, in that in that ball okay so uh, there is some elbow room for uh, each of these points in the set and uh, these open sets play the role of open intervals uh, uh, for real analysis okay so the open uh, sets in complex analysis or in the complex plane are what open intervals are to uh, real line okay so next let us define a closed set okay so uh, a set uh, s or let us say f is closed uh, okay if c minus f is an open set in c okay so um, so if the complement of a set is an open set in c then such a set is called uh, a closed set okay uh, so um, for example uh, if you look at um, b a r bar once again okay so this uh, is uh, essentially uh, or let's say uh, the complement of this okay uh, in in the complex plane is essentially the set of all points uh, in the complex plane such that the modulus of uh, z minus a is now strictly greater than r okay and which we uh, uh, said uh, is an open set okay so this is an open set okay so uh, b a r bar is a closed set okay and uh, we will see more examples as we go along. Okay. Uh, next, I want to define uh, a limit point, okay. uh, a point z in the complex plane is a limit point uh, of the set of a set s. Okay. Uh, if uh, the intersection of uh, the set of all complex numbers uh, which are uh, or let me say the set of all complex numbers I have used z. So, the set of all complex numbers uh, which are at most r away okay, intersection uh, this s is non empty uh, for every r positive okay so let me complete the definition uh, a point of s which is not a limit point is uh, called an isolated point of s. So, uh, a limit point is um, essentially a point such that uh, the, uh, there are points in the set S which come closer and closer uh, to that uh, point. Okay? Uh, so, 
this definition tells you that uh, pictorially this is what is happening. So, here is a point and there is a set okay. and then uh, here is a point and there are points. So, here is a set S okay. and then there are points which are very close. Uh, so, this set S is uh, what is contained inside this kind of curve that I have drawn. Okay. So, there are points inside the set which are coming closer and closer uh, to this uh, cross mark point. Okay. So, uh, such a point is called a limit point okay, uh, intuitively. So, the condition that 0 is strictly less than uh, the modulus of w minus z is, uh, is removing the trivial case that uh, uh, any point of the set just becomes a, a limit point. Okay? Because if that condition were not to be there, then uh, the modulus of uh, z minus z for any z belongs to S is equal to 0. And so, uh, that intersection S uh, will always be non-empty. Okay? So, this is uh, the empty set, I apologize in this definition, this, should, this is not 0, but the empty set. Okay. So, um, please make a note of that and um, so, uh, so this condition will be trivially met and uh, we do not want to make every point of the set a limit point. Okay. Uh, the idea of the limit point is that there are uh, really points in the set which are coming closer and closer genuinely coming closer and closer uh, to the point of interest which we want to call as a limit point. So, um, that is a limit point and if a point of the set is such that uh, such that it is not a limit point okay, then uh, that will be called an isolated point. So, I will give examples. Uh, examples uh, any point with the modulus of z equals 1 okay, is a limit point of the set, set of all z belongs to C such that absolute z strictly less than 1. Okay. So, here I have picked the standard uh, ball of radius 1 around the origin. Okay. So, that is your set uh, S, okay. that is your set S okay. and if you pick uh, any uh, point with absolute uh, or uh, with modulus of z equals to 1, okay, then uh, you can get arbitrarily close to that point uh, using points in the set S. Okay. So, uh, that is a, uh, so any such point is a limit point okay. and uh, if you take the set z belongs to C such that absolute z less than 1 okay, union a far away point let us say uh, 13 plus 20 i. Okay. Then 13 plus 20 i okay, let me call this set as S 1 uh, is an isolated point of S 1. So, um, we will consider yet another example. So, here is yet another example of uh, limit points. So, consider the set uh, S equals set of all x plus i y in the complex plane x y are real numbers okay, uh, such that x comma y are actually uh, rational numbers. Okay. So, these are complex numbers with rational coordinates. Okay. Uh, what we want to show, uh, show that uh, every complex number is actually a limit point of this set. So, uh, it is easy to uh, visualize this that uh, you know 
q uh, sort of uh, all the points with rational coordinates uh, and they are actually dense in uh, the complex plane. Okay. So, here is uh, the proof of this fact. Okay. So, every complex number is actually a limit point of the set. So, here is the proof of this fact. Uh, let you uh, pick a complex number z equals x plus i y. Let x plus i y be an arbitrary complex number. Okay. So, here is the picture you have x plus i y okay, and then uh, you take any epsilon ball around it okay. and then. So, this uh, is a horizontal line the coordinates of this missing point which is on the boundary is x plus epsilon uh, plus i y okay. and the coordinates of uh, the this point which is on a vertical line is x plus i times y plus epsilon. Okay. And then the coordinates uh, of a point on the 45 degree line to the horizontal Okay, uh, the, the coordinates of this missing point, which is on the boundary, is actually x plus epsilon by root two plus i times y plus epsilon by root two. Okay, so the reason I am considering this 45 degree line is that notice that if I take the square uh, of a side epsilon by root two, then uh, every point in the interior of the square is completely contained uh, in this epsilon ball. Okay. So, now uh, what we are going to uh, see is that the deleted neighborhood of uh, uh, this z okay, intersection the set s is actually uh, non empty okay. that will make z uh, a limit point of this set s. Okay. So, uh, uh, this is true for any epsilon okay, and then uh, that will make um, this z a limit point of the set s. Okay. So, uh, this follows from the fact that uh, rational numbers are dense in real numbers. Okay. So, there are uh, real numbers okay, uh, or more particularly there are uh, rational numbers x naught comma y naught such that uh, x is strictly less than x naught is strictly less than x plus epsilon by root 2 okay, and y is strictly less than y naught is strictly less than y plus epsilon by root 2. Okay. So, I already mentioned why I am considering x plus epsilon by root 2 and y plus epsilon by root 2. Okay. So, this x naught y naught lies somewhere in this picture they lie somewhere like that this is y naught this is x naught let us say. Okay. Then, um, the x naught plus i y naught is in the inside of this square okay, is in the interior of that square region. Okay. So, uh, so that so x naught plus i y naught uh, is definitely a point in the set S. Okay. It is definitely a point in the set S because it is in the uh, within the epsilon neighborhood not only that um, and x naught plus i y naught is also uh, <coughs> in the uh, b prime of uh, z epsilon. Okay. So, x naught plus i y naught sorry is in the set S because it has rational coordinates x naught and y naught are uh, rational numbers okay. and x naught plus i y naught is in the deleted neighborhood because it is in uh, you know it is inside the square. Okay. So, in in total you have that x naught plus i y naught belongs to S intersection b prime of z epsilon. Okay. So, uh, the claim that this is non empty is true. Okay, that makes uh, so hence z the arbitrary complex number z uh, is a limit point of s. Okay, so that proves that every complex number is a limit point of this set s. Okay.